crazy Think that I'm dreaming too big Yeah, you ooh, 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 ooh. Words don't faze me They ricochet off my skin And I will never quit Yeah, it's a lifelong game Going strong from the beginning And you wouldn't understand You're under rest of me But just wait till the end Wanna fly sides of beef in it along with a couple of sacks of flour and take it out to them tomorrow. I wouldn't fuss about it none. That's up to you, Mr. Nick. Then do it! telegram here on the table. Yes, ma'am. You left it right there on, t on the table. And I didn't take it. Oh, well, then I must have moved it someplace else without thinking. No, ma'am. They took it. They know the men are not getting back tonight, don't they? Said to Mrs. Barclay, Miss Audra. You're not going to say anything. The less they know about this, the better. No sense getting them worried, too. What are you asking me to do? Worry all by myself? Well, now you're not going to be worrying all by yourself. But they're going to ask me about you. What am I going to tell them? Just tell them we're staying in town overnight. Mr. Heath, you know I can't look Mrs. Barclay in the eye and lie. 
But you won't be lying, Silas, because we are staying in town all night, aren't we? You sure this is what you got to do? Now, you go on back to the ranch. It'll be safe. The fire can't jump the river. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. You don't like it? Until the next time. It's silent. Yes, ma'am, there it is. Mr. Nick, open it up. Jerry, what did he say? He said Mr. Nick made a fine choice. I'm going to peek at it. Oh, you don't have to do that, Miss Audra. Here's what it looks like. Jared passed on that? It looks a lot better without dates and advertisement. Well, she sure will be surprised. Where are the boys, Silas? They had to stay in town. There's trouble, Miss Barkley. Big trouble. What kind of trouble? There's a fire up in Granite City. The wind is bringing it down into the valley. It could reach Stockton. What's being done to fight it? The sons are doing all they can. They say for you and Miss Audrey not to worry. If the fire does reach Stockton, they're going to need help. Medicine, blankets, bandages. Let's go, Simon. Yeah. Father, I wish yeah, we could have done more. Yes, yes. I'll see to the others. Oh, Silas, hitch up the wagon. We're going into town. Stockton? Well, with all these children, we're going to need fresh supplies. This dangerous in town, Miss Barkley, the fire. Oh, we'll take our chances. I am not about to face a lot of hungry children at breakfast. Oh, please Barclay, don't. Please don't go in town now. Please don't. Why not? I'll tell you what, Mrs. Barkley. I'll go in town for you. Silas, we've been together for a long time. Now, what are you trying to hide from? Nothing, Mrs. Barkley. Nothing. Look me in the eye and tell me that. Me. But I promised you this would happen. Silas, you tell know me. I'm going but into town, and you know I hate surprises. Your son's going to blow a fire break. Blow a fire break? Mr. Carter and two men were killed yesterday trying it. The nitro blew upon them. Nitroglycerin. My horse and take you out to the orchard. You? That's right. Here it is, Mrs. Barker. Oh, Silas, put it in the wagon, please. Yes. Silas makes a special kind of stew. All it needs is dishing up. Look at the trained hound. There's no trained hound around here, fella. Unless that's what you call someone who works for a living. You going to ride that horse? Yep. Do you know what you were doing? I know. They call that horse a bad one. The name means devil. Silas? Silas? Oh, yes, Miss Hardra. Oh, you're looking at the almanac? Yes, ma'am. Well, if you're checking on the weather for the day of the rodeo, it'll be sunny and warm, temperature in the high 80s. I checked it yesterday. That's good, Miss Hardra. But I wasn't checking on the weather. The almanac has all the famous rodeo riders in it. Oh, that's right. And if anybody can ride rodeo like Joshua can, he just might be a champion. Was his name mentioned in there? Eh? No, it doesn't seem to be. But of course, after we beat the Mortons, I bet they write a whole page on him. You're proud of him, aren't you? Yes, Miss Audra. He's something. You know, Silas, we don't really know very much about him. Have you had a chance to talk with him? We've talked once in a while. Well, did he say anything about himself? No, ma'am. I guess that surprises you? A little. Joshua and I are the same in one respect. We are both black men. But we are different, Miss Audra. Different as day is tonight. In what way? I've always worked in a big house like this one. I was treated special because I belong to the house. All my life, I've been indoors. And Joshua? He's from the fields, from the outdoors. He's never known nothing but hard work and the whip. He's a new breed. He's restless. 
He's proud and he's searching. Searching for a place that he can call home. A place where he can stand up as a man. <laughs> 